everybody, welcome back to my channel Free Capri. So I'm going to do my very first story time on my very first surgery and it was an emergency surgery so I just gotta I just think it'll be I don't know a good story to tell. It all started about four years ago and mind you let me set up the scene. I've never been really sick. I've never been to the hospital as far as like in really really bad shape so this was during the time of when I didn't know I had cancer so I already was admitted to the hospital and they did procedures and tests and blah blah blah, blah. so during this time I have been in the hospital for a couple of days because they didn't know what was wrong with me after the test results came back my uh, doctor or one of the doctors came in and said do you want to hear the good news or the bad news and I said um, the bad news so they said well the bad news is we found a tumor in your chest the good news is we figured out what was wrong with you so I'm like okay and I'm like okay so what's like what does this mean so my mom is talking to them and I'm just kind of confused at this point and they're like well you're gonna have to get emergency surgery because we also found fluid around your heart and your lungs are filling up with fluid some more you need to test that tumor to see if it's benign or whatever one thing that i heard was surgery <laughs> surgery that freaked me the heck out there's a tumor in my chest okay i get that but surgery i'm thinking i'm gonna have like open heart surgery my chest is gonna be open like this no one was explaining to me the surgery and how that was gonna go and then on top of that they're saying oh and it's an emergency surgery you need to get this done first thing tomorrow morning we're gonna transport you to a different hospital so they can take care of you and get this done because this is like you need to have this surgery like today i was more concerned about the surgery how are they cutting me open first of all so after all that passed, I had to ride in an ambulance and then I finally made it to the hospital. I had my room. The next day came, scared the crap out of me because I'm like, okay, this is it. The doctor is in here. The surgeon is here. He's going to talk to me about the surgery. I had to play it cool and just get right into the questions like, okay, what are you doing to my body? Are you cutting me open right here? He started laughing and he said, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. I'm like, so where are you cutting? He said, just a few incisions on the side and that's it. You know, we got to get all that stuff done so you can breathe again and da 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 I felt a little bit better about the surgery, but I mean, I'm still, I was worried about like the thing going in my throat so I can breathe, like the breathing tube. I said, am I going to feel that? He said, no, you're going to be asleep. Don't worry. I said, this is my first surgery. I'm scared. Please help me. He told me to get undressed, <laughs> put on the gown, hop on the bed so they can roll me down to the operating table. Get on the bed and at this point, I'm just like, God, please, please help me through this. Please get me through this, please. Because I don't, like, I can't, this is too much. <laughs> the nurse is pushing me to the elevator and my heart is just beating like so fast. We get off on one of the stops, I see the doctor. He takes me. At this point, I'm starting to see the surgeon, the, the surgery rooms, and it looks exactly like how you see in the movies. Before I went into the operating room, they I made a left turn to go into a waiting room so I can talk to the anesthesiologist and talk to the nurses. I'm just telling everybody in there, like, I'm really nervous. Like, I'm having a full-blown conversation saying I'm really nervous at this point. I don't know what to do. Like, I, this is my first surgery. Can you hold my hand? She's like, oh you'll be okay you know i'll be there every step of the way and then the anesthesiologist comes in and he's telling me about everything and i said i'm you gonna put me right to sleep right because this is my first surgery i'm telling everybody this is my first surgery so you know if i'm freaking out you know exactly why i don't even remember what he said he just said i'll be sound asleep and it made me feel better but i'm still nervous because like i'm just nervous okay so after that, the nurses were asking to see if I was pregnant. I said, I'm not pregnant. They were asking for my pee. I was like, I peed in the room. So they couldn't get started with the surgery yet. The doctor, the surgeon was like, what's taking so long? This is an emergent situation. Hurry up. 
And they're like, well, we need to do a pregnancy test on her to make sure she's not pregnant. And I told them I'm not pregnant. It was just so much going on. After they go upstairs to my room to get the pee, to test to see if I was with child, which I wasn't, they were able to continue on with the operation. So this, the nurses, they pushed me to the operating room. And at this time I'm passing like two different operating rooms and I'm looking and I'm like, I really should not like look because it's making me more anxious. I'm starting to breathe a lot faster. Anxiety is starting to set in. I'm rolled all, all the way in the operating room. I'm looking around. I see the big light. I see all the tools. I see the surgeon over there staring at me, waiting for me to stop panicking. I see the anesthesiologist waiting for me. I see the other table I have to get on, which is the operating table. And I see the monitor, the screen monitor in front of me with my heart rate, my blood pressure, and I swear, I swear my heart was already like at a fast beating pace, but it went up, it skyrocketed in that operating room. They said, okay, just slide on over to the operating table. Da, da, da. And that's what they did. They gave me warm blankets and they tried to lean me back. And I remember I couldn't breathe. And I was like, I have to sit up because I cannot breathe. And they said, oh, just lean back. I said, no, I can't lean back. I can't breathe. Hello. At this point, I panicked. I freaked out. I started crying. Then I remember the nurse saying in my ear, oh, it's okay, honey. You'll be okay. It's okay. Like, don't worry. She's rubbing my hand and that didn't help. I just remember being on the operating table like this, like breathing, trying to handle it, but I couldn't handle it. Like, this is it. And then I remember the anesthesiologist was on my left side and he was like, give me your hand. And I'm like, just take it at this point. I'm like, just put me to sleep. Like, I can't do this anymore. I looked to the left. And I remember I looked straight. Next thing you know, I woke up in the recovery room. I have no recollection of the surgery, which is great, which is what's supposed to happen, duh. It felt like literally two seconds later, I woke up in the recovery room. So I was like, I remember I'm laying down, right? And I remember I woke up coughing, like I was coughing slow like everything was in slow motion like I was coughing slow like I got up slow and I remember it was a nurse right by me and I remember just looking up and I'm like this must be the recovery room oh my gosh so I couldn't really like I couldn't talk but I my thought process was clear as day. So I'm talking to myself in my head and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm in the recovery room. I made it, thank you Jesus, thank you God. Like the worst part is over. Now I just need to relax and recover. And then I remember um, the doctor, I mean the nurse, she asked me like, do you have any pain? Remember I kind of pointed to my chest a little bit in my side or something like that. And then she said, oh, that's the chest tube, honey. And I'm like, chest tube? So she opened up the covers and I looked to my right and I see a chest tube inside of me. <laughs> the surgeon did not consult with me about that. I kind of freaked out internally and then I just remember I just laid back down like, what has happened? What has come to my life? I have a chest tube inside of me right now. I remember she gave me some Tylenol and then I asked to see my parents. I said it like this, I was like, Where's my parents? So she was like, okay, yeah, we can bring them down here for you, honey. We can bring them down here for you, honey. So that's what they did. Moments later, I see my mom and dad walk and then, and my dad started recording me. You was ready to go. You was ready to go. But I didn't go to the operating room first. I went to go closer. Like up over here. I'm in my right mind, but I, everything is just slow. I can barely think. <laughs> they left and then they said, okay, we're gonna take you right up. And I remember, I just remember I closed my eyes and I opened it back up and apparently I've been asleep for like two hours or an hour and a half and they said that was good for me because I have not been getting sleep. So 
After that, they wheeled me up to my room and I just remember, I was still trying to tell this story to my parents. I couldn't get this story out and it was so serious. So they had me on a 24 hour drip of morphine and I was fine after that. I healed. And yeah, so that was the story of my first surgery, my first traumatic, dramatic surgery. I'm a very dramatic person when it comes to like hospitals because I hate hospitals. So that was just like crazy, 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 but it saved my life. So if you like this video, well, thank you first of all for watching. And if you like this video, um, comment down below about your first surgeries, your um, first experience with being in hospital, surgeries, things like that. I love to hear. Subscribe. You know what to do. Like the video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.